And we're going to do a Duracoat Finish Firearm of the Week. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to go too far into this one, but I was having a, a conversation with myself as I was writing here recently. And I was talking about, I was writing about uh, color contrast and standing out. And we like to color our guns. You know, sometimes you camouflage them or whatever. But when it comes to handguns, rifles, or shotguns, if you have, if you're using iron sights and if you're not using a, a scope, one of the things you need to make sure you're doing is that you have a sight that stands out, that is a contrast from what you've got. Now, a long time ago, many, many moons ago, what the standard practice for firearms manufacturers was that they would coat the iron sights in the same material that they coated the gun with. So if the gun was blue steel, then the front sight was a blue steel, and it and it was the same exact color as the slide so or very small blade. And yeah, you there know. You go. Or if it was stainless, same thing. It was That's stainless. Okay. I was just going to shave those things off. I don't need. Yeah, it, anyway. if it was nickel or whatever. Get in the way. But the the best option for you, regardless of what color the gun is, is to make sure that your aiming device, whether it's a brass bead or whether it's a a blade or what whatever, stands out. And it contrasts from that. You might say, duh, I know this. Now, I say, you know, when you look at me, when you guys look at me and you're like, duh, I know this, Paul. You don't need to say it. There are people out there that need for it to be said. Okay? <laughs> Trust me on this one. There are people out there that need for it to be said. Uh, so I just said it. And I said it. I meant it. I'm here to represent it. So, um because you and the which sites are the most important one, Jared? The front side. The front one. That's right. People spend all kinds of time and attention and mental energy on the rear site. Like, that's not where your mental energy and attention needs to be. It needs to be on the front one. I don't need a front site. That's the important one. That's right. The front you site just that? gets in the way. That's right. Like the rear site. It's 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 like years. I can't even think of anything dumb to say. Years years ago, when someone wrote a they, they opined in a an ria you guys know what an ria is right a random internet a-hole jumped in and said i hate those xs sites because the big dot is distracting it's supposed to be like i'm sorry yeah i, I punched the gun out and that and that's all i see is that that big white dot at the end i can see how that would be a distraction for you <laughs> Would you say that it's distracting? You have a small amount or a large amount of knowledge about handguns and handgun sites. Would I say that I have a small amount or a large amount? Yes, I would say it's probably a fairly large amount of okay. information. So, <laughs> if you had the opportunity to build your own site, would you do that? I would. I would. Oh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I did that. Did you really? Yes, I no. partnered with the guys at Night Vision. Night fission, F I, like nuclear fission. Oh, and, that's right. If you came, go, I'm going to go to studentofthegun.com slash sites right now. Oh, it's slash sites? Slash sites. Ah. And accurate sites, everything you need to know. We've got how they work. Mm. We've got the site height, the, this is the rear site design. We've got the uh, how to install the night fission sites. Step one, could, oh, I forgot I did that. That's funny. Mm. The science of sight, which is a very important portion of this. Cut a hole in the box, really. You did that. What? Yeah. Step one. So yeah. <laughs> uh yeah we we've we've spent a lot of time trying to educate people uh, as to uh, how these things work because if you know what how they work if you know how it works then it's easy to to not be distracted by like bologna sausage you know all the bologna sausage and that comes out oh so there we go but contrast contrast is your friend when it comes to sites and regardless of the 
the color or the or whatever of your gun you want your uh, sights to contrast you want them to stick out uh so when you're when you're thinking about doing that when you're when you're going to camouflage your gun if you're going to like do a super cool camouflage pattern on your shotgun or whatever that's great i think you should do it just don't camouflage your sights <laughs> really yeah really, really if you want it to match you just make your sights orange and your gun camo that's right that's right there you that's go. right you make your, your gun orange and your sights camo you could do that. Best no, don't. Do well, I mean, if you, you do whatever you want, man, you're, you're, you're a grown adult. Do whatever you want. Oh, if you're looking for a shotgun, looking for a shotgun. See, I'm looking for a shotgun. I'm looking for a shotgun that I can mount a bayonet on. Well, I tell you what. Wait, hold on. Did we talk about why contrasting colors and and whatnot? Did you get all everything you wanted to yep, say about that's, that? I got all that out of my brain. Duracoat university.com actually you go to student of the gun.com slash duracoat and you can learn how to be a pro you should learn how to be a pro uh 